It was the best Christmas present NASA could have asked for, the agency's James Webb Space Telescope, the world's largest, and most powerful telescope built to date, successfully blasted into orbit Saturday, the launch marked the long-awaited start of the Webb Telescope's mission, after more than 30 years of development, and countless delays. The $10 billion observatory, billed as the successor to the iconic Hubble Space Telescope, is designed to study the early days of the universe, roughly 100 million years after the Big Bang, when the first stars flickered on in the cosmos. As Webb travels to its final destination, key parts of the observatory, that were folded up to fit inside the rocket will need to unfurl in space, some of the most nerve-wracking stunts will come roughly five days after launch, when the telescope's huge multi-layered sunshield is stretched out, and its massive gold-coated primary mirror unfolds. The Webb Telescope's primary mirror measures more than 21 feet across, making it the largest to fly in space. The mirror's size, which dwarfs, that of Hubble, and other existing space telescopes, gives Webb the sensitivity to see celestial objects, that were previously undetectable. Telescopes essentially function as time machines, because it takes time for light to travel through space. This means, that when Webb studies light from the most distant galaxies in the cosmos, the telescope is actually observing how the universe was billions of years ago. The Webb telescope is designed to see beyond the range of the human eye, and other telescopes, that observe primarily visible light, Webb's infrared vision can pierce through thick veils of cosmic gas, and dust, allowing it to see celestial objects, that might normally appear invisible to other observatories. Webb's instruments are also sensitive enough, to sniff out the atmospheres of exoplanets, to examine their chemical composition and assess, whether they could support alien life. But before Webb begins collecting any science, or snapping any photos of the cosmos, the telescope will undergo a rigorous six-month commissioning period, to calibrate its instruments, and assess the health of its various components. If all checks out, mission controllers will finally breathe a sigh of relief, after that, it's anyone's guess, what Webb may discover, Robinson said, I'm curious about, what's out there, he said, where do we come from? What's our place in the universe? Those are the types of things I'm looking forward to learning. Stay tuned for the latest news.